Here are 10 boxing combinations in 10 minutes anyone can follow along to. The first five boxing combinations will be strictly offensive. You'll flow nicely with those combos. The second five is all about a defensive movement and a counter punch flow combination. And again, you can do the shadow boxing or on the heavy bag. If you want a 30 minute workout, simply do this session three times. You ready for it? Combo number one's coming up right now. Combo number one is the one, two, three, step left, two. That's the jab, cross, lead hook, step to your lead side and throw across. Let's get into it. Throw the one, two, three in a rhythm, bop, bop, bop. As you step, be grounded and release that right hand. Throw the one, two, three in a rhythm, step and release that right hand. Get these shadow boxing gloves in the product section of this video. Combo number two, five, four body, pivot left, one, two. Five, four body, pivot left, one, two. You're learning this combination because you want to throw that lead uppercut on a bit of a, a long angle because you're just that work with that stubborn opponent. That rear hook to the body is inside, so you want to pivot away from that, then throw a sharp one, two. Be calm, be precise. Let's get into combo number two. Combo number three, the one, one, eight, then measure with the jab as you move outside. That double jab sets up that overhand right. That's dangerous. It's going for the knockout win. Then make sure you're using that lead hand, that jab hand to measure the distance as you work outside in case you miss, lose your balance or have to change position to throw again. Let's get to work. Combo number four, the 636. Six. This is an awesome combination that works on the inside. That rear uppercut lead hook rear uppercut is all about fast hands and changing angles. When you throw this, don't stay in position too long. Throw it, change an angle. You can set it up with a jab and also finish with a jab so you're not leaving yourself too wide open. The 636 six on the inside, let's put that to work. Combo number five, the one, two, three body five. You're working in with that one, two. You gotta step into that jab cross. One, two, three body five. Dig into that lead hook to the body, then turn that into a lead uppercut. So you're working from the outside inside. Once you work that shot inside, again, with strong power and speed, step back out, staying in position, and get ready to go again.
Let's go, combo number six. You're getting in some offensive and defensive work here with the three duck left, three six. Throw that lead hook, duck to the same side, throw another lead hook in a rear uppercut. Change your angle and get ready to go again. Fast, furious, smooth combination. You can even pivot off of that first three as you duck left. Combo number seven, the two, five, six, three, two, duck to the same side as that rear power shot. Two, five, six, three, two, duck to the same side as that rear power shot. This combination, again, you need to throw with speed and, sp and power, especially that five, six, three, two, working the shoe shine inside, coming up for that head attack, finishing with a cross. It's not about how many punches you land, it's about the intimidation factor, changing with that duck to the outside and getting ready to go again. The two, five, six, three, two, duck right. Combo number eight, the jab, block right, jab, duck right, throw two or three punches. What that does is give you a nice rhythmic def offensive and defensive boxing combination. And those two punches at the end make it a lot less scripted because sometimes you never know what punches you have to throw. So just let your hands go. Combo number nine, the two, five, eight, duck left, pivot. This combination is bad intentions. So when you throw it, make sure that eight comes from a strong position so that you can duck left after, and after you duck, get ready to go again. The two, five, eight, duck left, pivot. It's a bad boy combo. Combo 10, your final combo, add some flavor to it. The two, one, two, switch stance one, that's the cross jab, cross, switch your stance from orthodox to self-paw or self-paw to orthodox, and then throw that jab hand. The two, one, two, switch stance one, show them that you have flavor, you have energy, and you're still good to go. This is combo number 10.
And there you have it, 10 boxing combinations in 10 minutes, a perfect way for you to learn boxing combos before you do any other workout. Do the session first and you'll see how fast you pick up boxing combinations in your longer sessions. And of course, guys, subscribe to this channel to get access to everything I have to offer except my premium content, which you can access by joining this channel as a member. I'll see you warriors for the next video.